Crazy is the best word to describe life on the road. Whether you're doing sound check, to eating, to hanging around, meeting people, uh, there's never the same day in repetition on a tour. You're just living in the unknown, really. And so I would say that is the best descriptive word for it by far. We're travelling quite similarly to how we would travel on a tour with like Betraying or on Never Say Die, which is but on a smaller scale. We've done tour bus tours quite a few times now and um, we were just lucky to find a, an absolutely excellent guy. And he owns a converted van, which is basically laid out like a tour bus. So we all have our own bunks. Um, there isn't like a lounge area, there's like a seated area. But I mean, as force of habit happens, you end up spending most of your time in a bunk anyway. I think what the years, over the many years we've been doing it now, I think the one thing that we've definitely taken away from every tour is the fact that you need to honour everyone's personal space. Yeah, not everyone's gonna be happy, go lucky every day, you know, people, people's moods change, people do need space, so we've kind of tried to find the best way to honour that throughout touring. Um, so yeah, it's, uh, it's just basically like touring on a tour bus, but on a very, very small scale. I like to feel that people will come to our shows and they have a release. We get our own release because we're getting to play our songs in front of people that love them and they're getting a release because they're for 50 minutes managing to lose their absolute minds and jump off things and get sweaty and shout along and just, and that kind of merge of energy just is incredible. And so at the end of the show, there's just a buzz. It's just a nice feeling. I think it's, uh, it's one of the most important things of being in a band is appreciating the people that have got you to the place you are. Yeah, I think, uh, I think Facebook's definitely made our band bigger just for the fact that you can hit so many different nationalities without having to do a huge amount of like touring. That you can go and play a show in the middle of nowhere and then suddenly 400 kids turn up. Booking, booking side of it is we are part and uh, love being, we all do, we love being part of it. Uh, Avocado, you basically Someone takes interest into your band who has the knowledge and know-how to book tours and put book support tours. Um, so they take you under your wing and they fundamentally will book you for headline tours, support tours, they'll pitch you to other agents to get tours. So it's, it works with, you're basically with inside of a network that allows you to get onto bigger shows, to allow you to do headline tours. Um, and our one's Avocado and, and Marco, our agent, who is the best guy in the world. They're incredible. It's a family. Um, Avocado is a family. You, you look at the, the tours they do, you know, Never Say Die, like 10 years of that. And that's because that was created by Avocado and they've, they've kept it going. It's, it's got historical value to it. It's, it's because people love being part of it. It is a family, it's a community. Your agent kind of works with your manager. Uh, they're the kind of people that get the venues booked, uh, sort your rider out, your day-to-day -day rider, uh, that being your food and your drinks. Uh, they push with promotion and how you're promoting the tour, uh, what each individual promoter is gonna do. Uh, they deal with a lot of like printed promotion. So this tour, I've seen loads of our tour posters everywhere. Well, that would be Avocado. <laughs> And they're, and they're incredible at doing it. Yeah, literally, they plaster the place with posters. Um, and all of that helps generate interest into the show, into the, into the actual tour itself, whatever tour it may be. Um, so really what they are looking to do is to get you the best show with the best promoter, promote it well, and make sure you get fed. <laughs> as a, and that's your kind of day, day work, really, as a, an agent and a manager together. He is an incredible guy, absolutely incredible. Come in historically, he came from a band we used to tour with, where Green, our guitarist, came from as well, um, a band called Heights. So he knows it, he understands it, he's been involved in it. Um, and to have that knowledge and be a manager is, is an incredible thing, because I know a lot of managers that don't necessarily, they manage bands, but they've never been in a band. 
he just puts a lot of belief into us. He just thinks we can do things. But at the same time, he does keep, uh, keep us quite grounded on stuff. And that keeps you sort of, A, working hard, and B, like, you're never gonna live your head in the crowds. Um, and I think that's helped our band grow, you know, just keeping us grounded, knowing where our levels are, of where we are, you know, where, where our strengths are, and where we can move to to make our band bigger. Um, but yeah, I've got all the love in the world for that man. Tom's done an incredible job. I'd say it's starting to get a bit smaller now. At first, it was the biggest thing in the world. You, you're like going to a new place every day. You're going to places I've, you've never been to. You, it, everything's like brand new. But then over time, we've been touring a lot in Europe over the years. We've made lots of friends. We start going back to venues like for the second or third time. So suddenly the big world suddenly gets a little bit smaller because well, places become home from home. Um, but that's an incredible feeling to be welcomed and, and be enjoyed and loved that much that people will make you feel at home when you're here. So, so yeah, the world is, I'm sure there is going to be bigger parts in the, in the future, but right now it's starting to feel a little bit smaller, but in a good way, yeah, for all the good reasons. So.